I hope that this encourages you to shine your light, to stop using the M word, and together we can help make the world a little bit brighter. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Danielle and that's going to be really important about today's video because today I'm going to be talking about something that is pretty controversial in the little people community. So I just want to start off by saying these are just my opinions, my feelings, and my thoughts. So if you don't like them, that's alright because I'm not here to make you love what I say. I'm just here to say what I feel. So one time, my mom and I were in the car and I was about six at the time and we were driving and she was pulling into a parking lot and she hears this sigh come from the back seat. She turns around and she's like, are you okay? What's wrong? To which I eventually replied, I am just preparing for everyone to stare at me when we get out of the car. I, I was six at the time. And you see, at six years old, I knew that I was different. So now, at 23 years old, do you think I've somehow forgotten that I look different? Or that I need a reminder like, hey midget, yelled at me? Not so much. <laughs> Another time, uh, we were at the mall and I was with a friend and my mom was with us. And my friend and I were walking a bit further ahead and there's a group of guys and they saw me, started laughing, and one of them said, hey, did you see that midget? Fortunately, my mom was there and she heard them and you can bet that she gave it to them. And so, with that being said, today I would like to talk about the M word. So, I am a human being who happens to have this thing called achondroplasia dwarfism. Now my type of dwarfism affects 1 in 25,000 people. It is a genetic mutation that affects how long my bones grow. So basically, I'm going to be this small for the rest of my life. Now calling me a midget makes me feel more like an object, a thing like that's behind a glass wall. It doesn't make me feel like a human. It makes me feel like a thing. <laughs> now the word midget in the dictionary is defined as this. Sometimes offensive, a very small person, and especially one of unusually small size. Now, two things that stand out to me in that. One, not sometimes offensive, always offensive. <laughs> the, the word midget is always, 100% of the time, offensive. The second thing, unusually small size. Now, I understand that, I get that part, but nowhere in that definition does it say that it needs to be pointed out in a condescending or derogatory way, because yes, calling somebody a midget is a derogatory slur. Now, I know that many of you might not have even realized that saying the M word is offensive. And that's okay, because I'm here to tell you that calling me the M-word, or someone who looks like me the M-word, is in fact incredibly offensive. Now, the cool thing about language is that language is powerful. Language can build people up, it can inspire, it can educate, it can bring awareness, it can shine light on things, it, it, it's powerful. But language can also be used to bring people down which unfortunately can cause lasting effects on a person's identity. Now what young adult woman would think of themselves as beautiful if all they heard every single time they left their house was, hey midget, hey, look at that girl, hey, you look funny. What woman would think themselves beautiful if that's all they heard? Kara Reedy says that the oppression of little people is the last accepted form of discrimination. Why is that? Why is it okay to laugh at little people when it is not okay to laugh at anyone's difference and any person in general? Why would somebody run up behind a little person, put their hands on their head, jump over top of them in the middle of the street when it is absolutely not acceptable to treat any human being like that? And unfortunately, that is a true story and that happened to me how come people with dwarfism seem to be the exception? Now I think I can answer that because the use of the word midget does stem from years and years of the circus culture. P.T. Barnum, and most of you guys may know him from the Hollywood movie The Greatest Showman, made money off of the backs of using people's differences. He made the freak show era popular, which unfortunately feeds these false truths to people that laughing at people's differences is okay. And these are repercussions that we are facing and we are still experiencing today. And yes, maybe those individuals are laughing with the audience and you might be like, Danielle, what's the big deal? They look like they're having fun. I understand. 
Now the problem that I have with that, this doesn't just affect that one person, but every single person who looks like them. Let me explain. How many times have I walked down the street and someone's come up to me and asked if I am Amy Roloff from Little People Big World? <laughs> Too many times to count. And I'm fortunate that Little People Big World is a great representation of LPs in society, but I'm not Amy and I look nothing like her. <laughs> but there's also been times that someone has come up to me and asked if I was the person that was wrestling in the bar the other night. No. That wasn't me, I usually say. Are you sure? You look exactly like that lady I saw. What's the saying? Uh, guilty by association? And in this case, my association is my size. Therefore, according to that person, every single adult female dwarf is a wrestler. Do you see the problem here? Now, I hope this kind of paints a picture for you. When one person or a group of people keep perpetuating the use of the word midget, it gets harder and harder for everyone in that minority group to stop those misconceptions. But, and there's always a but, we have a unique opportunity to change the narrative. And changing the narrative will start with how we see ourselves. So how does being called the M word make me feel? Well, one, it makes me feel like a thing. <laughs> it makes me feel like an object. I don't feel human. It makes me feel really bad. The second, hearing someone yell midget immediately throws my difference in my face in a condescending and really negative way. And I don't need random strangers pointing out that I look different. I'm pretty aware of my difference already without somebody yelling that to me in the street. Just being real. Now the third thing, it makes me sad. I'm sure if anyone out there of you gets bullied, it hurts. If you get made fun of, it sucks. It doesn't make you feel great. When people call me the M word, it makes me sad. And it hurts. It, it sucks. <laughs> and the fourth thing, it makes me feel alone. If I'm out with a group of my average height friends and someone in the street yells the M word at me, immediately I'm singled out. Immediately everybody knows that they're talking about me. Not even people just in my group, but people on the street. Anyone in that area that hears someone yell, hey midget, knows that they're talking about me. And so I'm immediately singled out in a negative and unexpected way. So yeah, it makes me feel really alone. Now I know that we didn't ask to be born this way and there isn't really much of a way for me to cover up my disability and hide it. But instead, if I can't cover this up, what I can do is I can start to change the narrative and I can ask you and ask people to stop using the M word. If I can't hide this, something else has got to change. And so I can ask people to take this word out of their vocabulary. So maybe this can be an invitation to stop using the M word. Maybe the next time you hear someone call someone a midget, you'll remember this video of a girl saying how much this word hurts and how much this word sucks and how much she really wishes that it wasn't a thing. Maybe the next time you won't stay quiet and you'll speak up and you'll tell that person that that is a really mean thing to say. In all honesty, the M word can cause lasting damage on a person's identity. It can cause damage on my identity and it has. Now, to my friends who look like me, I wanna to speak to you directly and I wanna just tell you that you are beautiful. And I know that you don't hear that that often. And I know that that's not the thing that gets yelled at you in the street. And if it is, it's not usually in a positive way. And I know that I have a hard time believing that about myself. I have a hard time admitting that. When so often, the world really makes me feel like I'm not. And I know it can be hard. And I know that I say this all the time, but I strongly believe that we all have a light to shine. And this light is yours. It is uniquely yours. It is beautifully yours. And only you can shine your light. So I want to end with this and I want to say that I think it's time for the M word to go. And one way that we can help this word disappear from vocabularies is by asking people and asking you, who's ever watching this video, to stop using this word. And that is one way that I'm going to choose to shine my light is I'm choosing to ask you politely and kindly and hopefully respectfully to stop using this word because it does hurt 
it does make me sad and it doesn't make me feel like a human being. And so I would really appreciate it and I'm sure I can speak for a lot of my other friends out there to please stop using the M word. And if we're gonna get anywhere and if the world is gonna get any brighter, I think that this is a great way to start. So with that, my name's Danielle, but you can call me D, and I have a lot more to offer the world than my body being used as someone's comedic relief and entertainment. And I would really appreciate it from now on just being referred to as my name. I hope that this encourages you to shine your light, to stop using the M word, and together we can help make the world a little bit brighter. See you next time.